Hello, I'm Monty Cagle, author, composer, musician, husband, father, world traveler, teacher, preacher, missionary, scientist, and most of all, a follower of Jesus Christ. I'm a Christian, okay? Today, I want to tell you about the Holy Spirit, what it is and what it can do for you now that you're saved. But first, don't forget to watch the whole video, like my videos, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell so you can be updated when new videos come out. First of all, what is the Holy Spirit? Or some people call it the Holy Ghost. It's the same thing. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost is the same thing. The Holy Spirit is the baptism of love and it empowers, is the power of God. The Holy Spirit helps, inspires, and strengthens us. The Holy Spirit guides us and gives us understanding of God's Word. And the Holy Spirit enhances our relationship with the Lord. The Holy Spirit empowers our witness to others. The Holy Spirit gives us spiritual gifts as well. So the gifts of the Spirit, they are powers that helps us to understand and follow Jesus a lot better. And so there are within the Holy Spirit, there's these gifts, there's these powers or things that you receive when you receive the Holy Spirit. The gifts of Spirit are discernment, listen to people talk and you know what they really mean in their heart, even if they don't say the words, what they feel. It gives you knowledge, it gives you wisdom, faith, and prophecy. It gives you the power of healing and you can speak in tongues and it gives you the interpretation of tongues, which is a whole video in itself. But today I'm going to show you how to receive the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Now that you know what it is and what it does, here is how you receive it. Just like in salvation, receive it just by asking for it. In prayer, the Bible says, if you turn to the book of Luke, if you get your hands on a Bible, the Bible says, if ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him. So it's just like salvation. You receive it by asking uh, God for it in a prayer. And what is prayer? Prayer is talking to God. So if you, now that you received a, a Jesus in your heart, now that you have salvation, now that you know you're going to heaven, now that you're going to, now that you know that you're going to live forever, if you want to tell other people about it and you want to express how you feel about God and, and your experience in getting saved, this power, this Holy Spirit will help you to be able to get this message of love of your across to other people so other people can get saved that's really what what we are here for to share God's love and to explain that wonderful gift of salvation to others now that you get saved we need to get as many people saved and know Jesus as we possibly can here's a simple prayer that you can pray to God that you can pray to Jesus and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit you can say something like Jesus uh, now that uh, I know you're in my life and now that I'm saved, I would like to know more about you and how to live for you and help others to know you. Jesus, please give me the gift of the Holy Spirit and fill me with your love in Jesus' name. Something simple like that. As sincerely as that. Like I said, uh, like I said, Prayer is just talking to God. If you sincerely would like to receive the Holy Spirit, I'm sure some of you may have heard about it, those who are live in the religious realm or Christian realm, have Christian uh, church that you attend. Some churches don't talk about the Holy Spirit. Some people don't uh, talk about speaking in tongues and they think it's kind of weird. But uh, it is an integral part of the Christian faith, receiving the Holy Spirit, and that's how you do it. If you sincerely said that prayer 
You really meant it. Jesus, I, you could say anything. You could say, Jesus, I'd like to receive the Holy Spirit. Uh, Jesus, I'd like to have the power of the Holy Spirit. God, I'd like to receive you, receive your wonderful power and know more about you by receiving the Holy Spirit. If you really mean that, God really answers that and he will give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. Why? Well, it just says uh, very clearly in the Bible, there's a lot of different versions of it in, uh, in different translations. It says here, and this is the King James Version, it says, if ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts to unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Simple as that. And this is what it does. It says, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Simple as that. Like that, that gives you power. It gives you power to witness. It gives you the power to talk about Jesus. And now that you receive Jesus, you have the option to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. As simple as that. And it's forever and ever. Hey, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ask him for that wonderful gift. And you are on your way to soul saved and lives changed. And a wonderful life for yourself. Hey, for more informative videos on the spirit world, uh, Jesus, God, and all that, don't forget to log on, to continue to log on to my YouTube channel, the Monty Cagle YouTube channel on YouTube. Have a beautiful day, night, morning, whatever. And remember, keep looking up and not down. Subscribe to the Monty Cagle YouTube channel. See you soon.